there are many different ways to change audio track volume in DaVinci Resolve 18. In this quick tutorial, I'll show you four different ways. First, let me just play the video currently on my timeline. Now let me show you how image to video conversion works. Okay. When working with audio, the first thing you want to do is drag the lower corner of the audio track down to see the audio wave. Notice that there is a horizontal line on the green audio track. Now, to increase or decrease volume of this audio track, click and drag precisely on the horizontal line and either move it up to increase volume or down to decrease volume. If you are on Windows, press Control and Alt key and then press plus or minus key to increase or decrease audio volume on currently selected audio track by one decibel. Now this is the same option if you go to clip menu and hover your mouse over audio. You'll see what the keyboard shortcuts are for audio track volume controls here, whether you're on a Mac or Windows. The secondary options here, which is Alt Shift, are for increasing or decreasing volume by three decibels instead of one. You can also change your volume from inspector tab. Just make sure your audio track is selected. Then drag this volume slider to increase or decrease volume on that track. Look at the right of the slider. You'll see diamond shaped button, Click on it to create a keyframe on the frame where your playhead is currently located. Do you see it? It's the new orange dot that was just added to the track. Move your playhead and click the diamond again to create another keyframe. Now hover over the keyframes, click and drag it around. This gives you precision controls over your audio track volume. Instead of going to diamond button all the time, simply press and hold alt key and click anywhere on the horizontal line to create even more keyframes. Potentially, you can use this to fade in and fade out your audio. I'm just not sure if you can curve lines created with keyframes. I haven't been able to figure this out. If it's possible and you know how to do this, please leave a comment on this video to help others out. However, we can add a curve and make our audio volume transition smooth, but only at the beginning or end of an audio track. DaVinci Resolve has a special volume modifier for fading volume in and out. Now pay attention because it shows up only if you are hovering your mouse cursor over the audio track. Here it is in the upper left corner, just click and drag it to slide it out into the audio track. Now you can modify the curve to gradually increase or decrease volume at the very beginning of your audio track. You don't even need to add keyframes to do this. It works in the same exact way at the end of your clip. Just drag it around to fade out your audio volume, speech, music, or soundtrack at the very end of your audio clip.